The biggest question I always get is how do I begin learning to program in Python? And my answer is how I learned how to do it, which is parsing CSV files. Uh, when I was an undergraduate, I had a research project that required me to parse thousands of CSV files. And if there was an error in the, in the program, I had to do it all over again. So it was either learn how to code or parse thousands of files manually, sometimes for nothing. Uh, CSV parsing is really important for developing the basics of programming. It teaches you how a computer thinks. It teaches you how to think logically. Uh, it teaches you how, how, to, how to work with indexes. It teaches you how to work with generators. Uh, it teaches you how to work with lists. It teaches you how to write for loops. Uh, it teaches you how to set flags and how to break out of for loops. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to parse a really simple CSV file. And I'm gonna to try to go to great lengths to explain what the code is doing. Uh, so first time viewers, uh, first time programmers uh, can, can really develop a sense of, of how Python works. Uh, and if you're a veteran programmer, uh, well, then you get a nice, nice brush up on your skills. So here's our CSV file. Uh, I have, it's called studentgrades.csv. Uh, and I have four columns here. And in the header row, uh, which describes the contents of each column, I have first name, last name, year, and grade. Okay, so this is the file that we're going to parse. And I've already set up a, uh, a, a document here to write code in, uh, and studentgrades.csv is in the active directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the CSV library, which is the library that we're going to start out using. And the first action is to actually open the CSV file with Python uh, so we can begin operating on it. So generally you'll see this as with open, uh, and the name of our file, of course, is studentgrades.csv, and we open it in read mode, as opposed to write mode or read write mode, uh, as in file. So this is just a fancy way of opening the contents of the file and assigning it to a variable. Uh, next, you'll generally see uh, someone read in file here into um, a, a CSV reader function. So generally it looks like this, a reader equals csv.reader in file. And this isn't necessary, but I always like to specify it. Uh, we can specify in a parameter our delimiter. So we have a comma separated file. So our delimiter or uh, what's spacing out the columns, um, you know, it's a comma. Uh, if we had a space separated file, which we could use the CSV library to parse, uh, we could put a space in here, or maybe a tab if we have a tab separated file. But of course we have a comma. Um, so what this is, is uh, the CSV reader is a generator. So instead of opening the entire file and reading it into memory, um, what the generator will allow us to do is to go one row at a time. Uh, so every time we access reader to do something to it, um, it's gonna go ahead and move to the next line. So let's go ahead and say we want to just capture the header row here. How, how would we go about doing that? You know, we have a generator, we can't necessarily index easily. Um, how do we go ahead and get this uh, header row? Well, we haven't actually advanced through the reader yet, so it's the first row on deck essentially. So what we can do is say header equals next reader. And what next does is it just takes the current row, um, converts it to a list, and then advances reader to the next row, which would be you know row two here, this one. So if we go ahead and print that out, we'll just see what, what it actually is. Uh, and I go ahead and run the code here. You see, we get a list with the header row. So in the same exact order as it's in, in, this, uh, in this input file here, uh, we get it back out in Python as a list. Uh, and if I wanted to actually maybe, you know, get the name of the first row, I could go ahead and index it. So I grab the, the first index value uh, of this header list, which would, you know, because we start counting from zero in Python, um, as opposed to one, uh, uh, the first value in the header that corresponds to index zero is first name. So if I print that out, 
Uh, of course, we just get the string back, first name. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and start looping through our file. So we're gonna go ahead and use a for loop and say for row in reader. And so we're just gonna go ahead and march down each row of the file. So for row and reader, we're gonna do something and then we're gonna move to the next one. Uh, so just using our standard index values, we're gonna go ahead and say student first name equals row zero, student last name equals row one, uh, student studnet student student year equals row two and student uh, grade equals row three and again these index values just correspond to the order uh, the ordering of the columns okay so if we go ahead and print all of this out let's just put you know go in order student first name student last name student year and student grade and if we go ahead and run the code it's going to loop through the files uh, and give us back each item uh, in the order that we're printing it so what if we actually want to do something with this data let's say that we're interested in just reading in the student first name and student last name uh, and writing it to a different file a different csv file so i'm going to go ahead and operate on this existing code uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and start by creating a new CSV file to write, write to. So we're gonna call it out file and we're going to open, uh, let's call it student names.csv and we're gonna open it in write mode. Okay, so, so this file doesn't have to exist already. It, uh, Python's gonna automatically create it and we're going to uh, write to it. So let's say that each line in our new CSV file uh, we're going to have uh, the student first name and the student last name. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to uh, use these curly braces to insert into this pre-existing string, the student first name and the student last name. Uh, because we're, we have a comma separated file, um, we, uh, uh, we're gonna separate these two things with the column and then we're gonna end with a, a new line. So once we write the line, uh, the computer is going to know the next time it writes the file or the next time it reads the file uh, that uh, it's going to go to a new line when it when it reads this in. So we'll just say outfile.write. We're just going to write to the outfile this line. Um, and so every time we iterate through a row, it's going to read in all the data. Uh, we're going to produce the line ahead of time. And then we're just going to write to our new outfile. And now, you know, when this is all done and we're ready to terminate the program, we can just say outfile.close and it'll cleanly close this outfile and we can access it uh, through a different program. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the code and it finishes. And you can see here that in our working directory, studentnames.csv has appeared. And when we look at it, sure enough, here's our first name and last name uh, in a comma separated manner, um, our new line, character has worked um, every time it writes a last name it goes ahead and moves to a new line so let's go ahead and, and delete this quickly okay now let's say we wanted to uh, write a header ahead of time that's pretty easy to do we could just say uh, out file header equals uh, student first name, comma, student, last name. Uh, and we'll of course have, whoop, can't have that. Um, have the new line character there. And then we'll do outfile.write, uh, outfile header. And we'll run this one more time. And here we go. Yep, there is our, our header names. So we can associate a header name to our new CSV file. So that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you a much more complex and convoluted real world example of, of uh, a really complicated CSV file uh, that I had to parse when I was learning how to write in Python. So we'll see you in part two.